This video is about data strategy, a term much misunderstood but essential in a world where everything is data. Data strategy is important because it sets a critical foundation for business capabilities. Automation of business processes and with it scalability, or put in simple terms, do things faster. Use of analytics and insights to drive new ways of operating, or put in simple terms, do things better. Creation of new experiences through hyper-personalization at scale. Or in simple terms, personalized experiences for individuals, not segments or personas. Commercializing data by creating data products for internal or external use. Or in simple terms, package up data and make it useful to others. My name is Jesper Lagergren and I'm an enterprise architect. I specialize in helping organizations with data strategy, data modernization and data migration. Insights, automation, data products and AI enabled solutions. It's all very exciting. Sadly, however, many organizations will fail to achieve their strategic objectives for their data for the simple reason is that they fail to successfully operationalize the essential underlying capabilities required to understand, manage, protect, and ultimately to leverage their data. And the reason? Data is tricky, and mastering your data assets is quite a challenge. A well crafted data strategy exposes the framework and outlines the key capabilities that are essential to navigating the shift between where you are today and what you need to do to master your data assets. My name is Louise Davey. I'm a business transformation architect and leader specialized in data-driven operating models and data operations. Everything in the digital world is data, zeros and ones. And to control what we do in the digital world, we use data. But to use data, we need a data strategy, which is why most organizations tend to have one. But having a data strategy doesn't mean it's the right one or a good one. Because most organizations struggle with data and the problem is getting worse. So why don't current data strategies work? Well, one reason is because they don't explicitly define the value of data. And if value is not understood, prioritization can't take place. And prioritization goes to the heart of strategy. Let's take Amazon AWS's data strategy as an example. It's a good strategy, but fails to link back to business strategy, like most data strategies. We believe that an extended view of data strategy is needed, and we use the VAMP data strategy framework, which covers this important gap. VAMP defines data strategy across four pillars, realize value of data, data as an asset, data democratization, and data protection. Realize value of data is about understanding how data assets directly contribute to business goals. Manage data as an asset is about understanding the required data quality and the systems and processes that need to be in place. Data democratization is about the business understanding of data, the data-driven culture and data accessibility. Data protection is about ensuring the integrity, privacy, and security of data. In this video, we will discuss the two first pillars of AMP, realize value of data and data as an asset. Realize value of data can take place in many ways, but should start with a data use case, which describes how data will be used to achieve specific and quantifiable business outcomes. These goals often fall into one of these areas. Ability to draw new insights and predictions from data. This focuses on analytical data, including transaction data. Analytical data is often produced from data warehouses and data lakes. Ability to automate operational processes. This focuses on operational data, including master and reference data. This data is created and enriched in operational systems such as CRMs, ERPs, or supply management systems. Ability to hyper-personalize at scale. This focuses on transaction data, semi-structured and unstructured data. Semi-structured and unstructured data are often stored in data lakes on data platforms. Ability to commercialize data. 
this focuses on creating data products that serve up large amounts of raw data in new, consumable and valuable way that add quantifiable value. Most organizations have valuable data. Data that can cause damage if exposed, or data that is critical to the competitive advantage. But before we can value data, we need to put the right structure, processes and parameters around it. And this is what data as an asset is all about. Creating value from data is clearly the end game. And data use cases that outline how to do so through insights, automation, new data products or AI enabled solutions are clearly your value drivers. The challenge won't be in generating ideas. In this digital age, there'll be no shortage. The challenge with strategy, and data strategy in particular, is going to be in the execution. To achieve your strategic objectives for your data, and to keep pace with what can only be described as an oncoming onslaught of data use cases, you will need to successfully operationalize a series of key data capabilities. These capabilities fall under the three VAMP pillars of data asset management, data democratization, and data protection. As previously mentioned, the rest of today's video will focus on the data asset management pillar. The first rule of order for data asset management is to recognize that as an asset, data is different. Data's diversity, broad application, complex relationships, and digital nature make it especially tricky to get a handle on. It has created a one end of your organization for one purpose and use it the other end for entirely different means. No other business asset is this complex, but success is possible. And it starts with the first capability under the data asset management pillar, data discovery. Data discovery refers to your ability to find and identify your data. And it includes the sub capabilities of data localization, data traceability, data classification, and data categorization. When you're good at data discovery, you know what data you have, you know who's using it and how, you know where that data is stored, you know how it got there, and you know how it may have been manipulated along the way. For this reason, data discovery is the precursor to establishing trust in your data. And it also allows you to establish your data governance framework, or something we like to call data stewardship. Data stewardship allows you to establish accountability for data, including its quality and any risks that may be generated through its production or use. Your data stewards are your business process and business application owners where data is produced, consumed, and stored. As your key business stakeholders, your data steward network provides the framework for organized decision-making around your data assets. But as a group, data stewards are tough to manage because they don't report hierarchically into your chief data officer and they sometimes have competing interests when it comes to data and its compliant use. For this reason, your ability to mobilize and motivate your data stewards to do the right thing is a key success factor. And one of the reasons why charisma and the ability to influence are often top of mind when you're looking for a chief data officer. Now that we know what data we have, where it lies and who's responsible for it, we can get down to the business of improving its quality and hence its value. Master data is a special class of data. It provides the framework for your organization and your operations. It's also what gives meaning and consequence to all of your transactional data. For instance, a sales transaction will map a customer to a product to a store location. Because of its structural qualities, the quality of master data is critical. Put simply, bad master data, bad everything. And for this reason, special rules apply to governing master data to ensure its uniqueness and its integrity at all times. Uniqueness and integrity are two of the many dimensions to data quality. Others include accuracy, timeliness, completeness, and coherence, to name a few. Data quality management refers to your ability to measure, monitor, control, and ultimately to improve the quality of your data assets. Because data is part of an ever-evolving ecosystem, Data quality management is never done. It's an ongoing, rigorous, relentless process that requires stamina. In today's video, we saw how data strategy and business strategy align through data use cases, how data use cases reveal the value of our data assets, and how the VAMP pillar of data asset management is key to unlocking that value. 
In our next video, part two of this two-part series on the VAMP data strategy framework, we will look at the pillars of data democratization and data protection. And we'll also explain how all of these pieces come together into a coherent, well-crafted data strategy. So stay tuned. We do hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please show your support by liking it and subscribing to our channel. See you soon.